Okay, we have um, changed our icons already and the theme and also the cursor. But there are things still in here that we have not done yet. So in the AMD GNOME, there is a personal folder. And even so, there are things that are not uh, with these scripts in here are not done. So one of the things we have already done in the previous video is actually install Nautilus Admin. And this is how it looks, open as administrator. But the thing that's also in here is this thing, GNOME screen uh, extensions. So there is this GNOME shell uh, extensions and we have, a, well, we've experimented a few of them and we can recommend some of them, but you have to be smart about this. GNOME extensions are created by users. So um, GNOME evolves, users have other priorities and you have to well, wait if it's compatible with the new updates or there are some bugs in there and it will take some time to fix and so on and so on and so on. And just meaning that you have to um, know that GNOME extensions can make it more beautiful but can also cause issues. So it's up to you. So that's why they're not in the scripts. It's a link to a website. So for instance, the one I would like to explain you now is the one that's missing. Where is our variety icon? Where's caffeine icon? Where are the icons that we normally have in this system icon tray thing? We can install a extension and I'm looking for the name as this one. Link to case status. Remember the word app indicator. Okay, double click. You're sent to a website Voila, like this and now we have to wait the best thing for you to do is click here to install the browser extension so depending on which browser you like you maybe have set Vivaldi as a standard or uh, Google Chrome of Chromium and Firefox so I'm gonna see if anything happens here because here we should have a foot and the foot is here and when the foot's working and everything is fine there's no bugs then we get here off and on. And that's how easy it is to install stuff in GNOME shell extension. Okay, click. Almost installed. Download and install, blah, 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 blah. Yep, install. And there you go. We've installed now this extension and here we have next wallpaper. Let's have a look. Wallpaper is already changed. Next wallpaper, next wallpaper and so on. We can have our wallpaper selector which we're used to and we see here she is and we can move about all the things that have been downloaded already and check which ones we like or which ones we hate. Remember we made a, in, um, in the previous video we've installed the keyboard shortcuts. So if you go up here so here are my keyboard shortcuts. That means that means if we yeah if you can't close this thing uh, not with the buttons here, right mouse click, minimize, maximize, move, resize, over the top. Okay, so minimize. If you want to have the next one, Alt to the right, Alt to the left, and Alt trash if you don't like it, Alt F for favorite. So everything works as you're used to on Arch Merge. All the keyboard shortcuts are in there. I was missing them so they're in there so there you go we have now um, the icons well one of the icons if you install other stuff like I don't know clip it or clip grab or all these things and uh, caffeine and all that everything that needs an icon will be put up here so that's a good thing that that's working so that's what this tutorial is about just about this extension and I'm just having fun with variety here all right cheers